The question now becomes how to modify the microkernel to take into account that the micro panel of A and the row panel of B are both packed so that the data can be accessed with stride 1. Here's the new implementation. It accepts the address of the packed micro panel of A, given by MP underscore A for micro panel A, the address of the packed micro panel of B, MP underscore B, and the address of the top left element of the micro tile that will be updated by the multiplication of the two micro panels, C. This particular implementation assumes that MR is equal to NR is equal to 4. In other words, it's for the 4x4 microkernel. Before the loop, the micro tile of C is loaded into vector registers, and after the loop, the micro tile is written back to where it came from. Next, we focus on the loop. Each iteration performs a rank 1 update with the pth column of the micro panel of A and the pth row of the micro panel of B. This loop looks a lot like the one for the microkernel we encountered in week 2, except where we find the column of the micro panel of A and the row of the micro panel of B. First, we load a vector register with the first row of the micro panel of A addressed by MP underscore A. Next, we load and broadcast the first element of the first row of the micro panel of B found at MP underscore B. We use this data to update the first column of the micro tile. Now we load and broadcast the second element of the first row of the micro panel of B. Its address is MP underscore B plus one. By addressing it as MP underscore B plus one, the pointer that tracks data in the micro panel of B needs not be updated yet, which reduces overhead. The data at MP underscore B plus one can be addressed with an instruction that uses indirect addressing, which makes retrieving it cheaper than it would be if the address is updated and then the data at that address is accessed. Once broadcast, the second column of the micro tile is updated. Similarly, we update the third and fourth column of the micro tile. Next, we update the pointer in MP underscore A so that it addresses the second column of the micro panel of A, and we update the pointer in MP underscore B so that it addresses the second row of the micro panel of B. We then continue with P equals 1 and with P equals 2 and so forth. When the loop completes, the microtile has been updated and is ready to be written back where it started in matrix C.